Thursday at 10 on Atlantic City's TV 53. This week on Your Big Break, five everyday people get the champions picks the winner. Dick Clark presents Your Big Break. Tomorrow at 9 on Atlantic City's TV 53. You're watching Atlantic City's hometown TV station, WWAC TV 53. Super secret. Plus, they long forgotten the way we were. Chronicle tonight. I'm Dixie Wobble. Breast cancer is a leading cause of death for women 40 if they walk or run. It's Boston season two. Good morning. An explosion rocked a small central Pennsylvania community. The blast leaves a well-known restaurant heavily damaged. And we'll have an update on the local school that was closed down yesterday because of a power outage. Good morning. It's Friday, September 8, 2000. You're watching 28 Today on WBRE. Good morning. It's just about 6 o'clock. I'm Cherie Johnson. And I'm Mark Hiller. Good to have you with us for this finally... So if you want some strange things to look at, and you can learn a lot about different breeds that I never knew of. And I know, Susan, you, you have a little experience with pigeons, don't you? Yeah, we, uh, we did the tour on homing pigeons. Any of those there? Yes, have there any of those? yes, there are. Those are one of the breeds that will be judged later this morning, actually. All right, so not your average street pigeons there at the York Fair. No, so some strange creatures. All right, and pretty quiet there right now. I see a little bit of action. Somebody's doing something behind you, but... Uh... I, I think that was the donut truck that just went by. It was <laughs> what? Give the, the donut to, truck. Give, give the us do a few donuts, but... <laughs> All right, well... We expect some donuts back this morning. Thank you, they, Julie They do Bauer. have their priorities at the York Fair. All right. <laughs> Number one. All right. Thanks very much, Julie Bauer, reporting live from the York Fair. We'll see you in the next half hour. Thanks, Julie. NBC's The West Wing set a record at the Emmys last night, winning a total of nine Emmys, including Allison Janney, who won Best Supporting Actress in a Drama Series for I her portrayal of CJ, the... Uh, there are just four days until the Olympic flame is lit in Sydney, signaling, signaling the start of the game. There were some problems yesterday during the dress rehearsal of the opening ceremony. Sparks from the practice round of fireworks set fire to some parkland in Sydney. It took nearly an hour to put out the fire. The rest of the rehearsal ran a bit late, but did go well. And you can see NBC's coverage of the Olympic Games here on WGAL starting Friday evening. This morning, we begin our special Olympic coverage. News 8's Marcus Emig will have up-to-the-minute reports on the Sydney Games, and it's so nice to have you here with us in the morning, Marcus. And um, what can you tell us this morning? Well, thanks, Nick and Susan. You know, every couple of years, the United States is blessed with 7-2-1701, and enter this challenge today. Tell them you want to double your money and support bikers like me on the Williams 2000 bike ride. Next only Rosie, it's a season full of surprises. Brilliantly talented Richard Dreyfus. It's a close encounter of the look-alike kind. When I wear only the mustache, I look like the little guy in the monopoly box. Plus, the ultimate villain in the biggest city of all time. This afternoon at 3 on NBC 29. Overdrive. Before the post-games festivities, the man who ran the Sydney Olympics gave his assessment. Look, this has been a terrific national endeavour. This has been a fantastic result for Australia. Visitors we spoke to were unanimous in their positive opinions. Oh, we like it here. The people could not just proceed, but succeed. Their payment nil, their contribution priceless. But for all the success of the Sydney Olympics, one potential negative lingers. Drugs. An unknown number of athletes, at least 21, were caught in pre-games testing, another seven caught during the game. Michael Knight sees that 
as a positive. Uh, we feel in no way embarrassed that a number of cheats have been caught. We, in fact, are quite proud that a number of cheats who may previously have slipped through. As the game screw to a close, the only complaint we found was this. I'm an American, but I don't understand Celsius too well. <laughs> John Radler reporting from Australia, and the next Summer Olympic Games will be held in 2004 in Athens, Greece. The latest look at your Monday morning commute and the seven-day forecast. Plus, we'll head to the Virginia Beach Oceanfront, where not even the rain could stop folks from celebrating this year's Neptune Festival. Details when daybreak returns. Weekends here, putting even more pressure on Noah to nail his forecast. I think he's ready, though. Here's Noah. Finally got it fine-tuned, I think. A little bit of a flop from yesterday. It looks like tomorrow's... Yeah, that's not good for July. 83 is the normal, 96 is the record. Just a trace of precipitation in Albany. Some areas picking up more. Grass pollen high, mold count low again today. There's a look at those highs. Right around 70, low 70s, generally speaking. Didn't even get up to 70 in Pittsfield today. Clima y entretenimiento con periodistas profesionales con experiencia e integridad. Voltea al canal 18 cada tarde por Noticias Univisión Nueva Inglaterra, el líder en su comunidad.